people, my name is Naila, your host for The Art of Living Show. Our guest today is a scholar, a leader, a visionary. She's devoted, vibrant, an enigma, and a breath of fresh air. She holds PhD at Lead Impact University and she has Masters in Psychology and Counseling from Kenyatta University and she has Bachelor of Science in Agriculture from Egerton University. She was awarded OPCR Manifesto from Canada for her valuable and tremendous contribution in protection for children's rights and rehabilitation for drug addicts in Kenya. Above all, she's God-fearing and holds a diploma in theology. She is none other than Deputy Governor of Kiambu, Her Excellency, Dr. Joyce Ngugi. She invites us to her home to have a look around and to have a conversation. Let's discover, explore, and engage. Wow, how are you? Oh, look at you! Look at you. <laughs> you come to visit us. Yes, I've You're come welcome. to welcome. Yeah. Thank welcome. you so much. Oh, yes. You look beautiful, my goodness. Do I? Yes, <laughs> what a beautiful dress. Oh, so thanks. bright and vibrant, wow. just like you. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you for inviting us into your beautiful space. Thank you. You're welcome. This is so elegant and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about this first. So this one mm -hmm. actually has a memory of all um, oh, what you see here is a memory of the places that uh, I visited together with my children. Okay. So I keep it something and uh -huh. I keep it there for 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 our memories. memories. Yes. See Paris. Oh, yes. What's your favorite destination? I love South Africa. Really? really? Out of all these places? I love South Africa. With all really? For by Dubai. <laughs> Followed by Dubai. Yes. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. So talk to me about um, how big your space is. How big is the house? Big, but not so big. Okay. But enough for us. Okay. You're most welcome. Thank you so much. I see this beautiful piece of art here. Mm. Where is that from? Uh, this one uh -huh. was a gift to my rich husband. Okay. Uh, my husband, great. I know, okay. maybe you know that. Yes. He used to serve in uh, Evergreen Church ah. as a leader of Young Couples Movement. Okay. So they gave him this gift oh, uh, wow. right, uh, just be before he passed on oh, wow. for his service that he had given for three years wow. yeah, to young people. Wow, that is very special. Yes. That is very, yeah. very special. Mm, it looks so memory. beautiful and a good memory to yeah, your yes, yes. Right there we have his photograph, okay. which is also an a art, painting. a painting that, that had been, we had done for him, me and my children, okay. yeah, before he passed on. Wow. So yeah. he, he got to see it? Yeah, he got, yeah, he got to see it. Oh, we gave him after because he was a member of parliament. When he won the member of parliament, he got told us yes. So we gave him as a gift. That is quite special. This was during the, his burial. Okay. Yeah, we had the president and the deputy had attended, now that he was a leader. Yes. Together now with my two children. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that time they were a bit young. You can see the small one was, he was only six by then. Oh. Now he's 14. Wow. Uh, after my husband, I also became a reader. I hold many people who are coming here either for advices or other services. Yes. So this is our holding area where we hold people before they go to the sitting room. You're most welcome. Thank you. So Mheshimiwa, how many guests do you have in a day? Now that you have guests every other day. You know, when I set, I set some times to be here to receive the guests. So the day I'll set some time, they'll come quite many. And I'm glad if you've come to my house. Thank you so much. This space is so elegant and very classy. I love it. You love leather seats. That's what I've noticed. Yeah, why? Yes. The comfortability, I love the comfortability and to maintain cleanliness is a bit easier than the, the, the material seats, okay. yes. And um, uh, curtains mm. and the chairs complement yes. um, the space together with your carpet and your glass table there. Super cool. Is that your work or the designer's work? My work. Really? This, this was wow. my work. The, 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 actually, the, the seats I bought locally. The lights are from Dubai. 
yes. And the cuttings also are locally made. And on the floor is wood, and I love the wood. Yeah, this this is now from China, the, 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 the floor. The floor. The floor and the Egyptians are from China. Yeah. And what about your entertainment unit? Oh, this is also from China. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 the wall unit is from China, and also the, the, the decorations, yeah. I love, I love that beauty. It's quite lovely and I see flowers everywhere, a they, touch of flower I everywhere. Them. I love them. Yeah, your, mm. wall, your, your, your space is very cozy, very warm. Mm. Actually, let me sit on one of the yeah, chairs. and have a feeling. Ah, of how it feels to be in Mwashimiwa's house. <laughs> how long have you been here? I came here in the year 2010. 2010? Yeah, so it's, it's going to 12 years now. Oh. All right, and um, if I may ask, you mm. know, in terms of what was your learning when you are building this space? Uh, th there is always a need for proper planning, yeah. uh, financially, you yes. need to plan yourself very well so that you uh, to reduce delays yes. uh, and also you need to have proper managers and proper workers who are not misusing what you have okay. and you are not doing chidi work for you. Okay. Yeah, all those kind of things need to be put in a proper plan. Okay. Yes. Guys, you heard it. Next time you plan to build your home, make sure that you plan and you plan your finances so that it doesn't delay your construction. Yes. Mahashimi, I want to go to the next space. Okay. You see those cuttings. One of these cuttings is hiding something. I have a holding room here where sometimes wazes come and sit. Yeah, at times it is openable okay. so that uh, we are able. We can join the people who are sitting here and here, and they can watch TV. Right. And at times, you can use it now privately. So yeah. this is where the VVIP sits. Yes. So I'm a VVIP. Oh, yes, you are. Thank you so Let much to have you come in, guys. You heard I'm a VVIP. <laughs> <laughs> Let me come in. Nice. Oh wow! So I see the same seat that you had on the other side is the same color. Yeah, that that is only this is maroon. This is maroon. Yeah, which oh. blends with the maroon curtains. Yes. yes, and I see your even your lighting is the same. It is the same, and nice. also the lining there. So where you enter here, it's maroon color Ma maroon and color. gold, and you're comfortable there. Have a seat Thank you and so enjoy much. your drink. Thank you. That painting is quite pretty. Yeah, this painting was drawn by the local people in our area, Gatondo okay. South. Okay. So I keep it there because I like encouraging them and yeah. promoting them. Yeah. And they, they, they've done quite a lot of them that uh, we, we keep uplifting their spirits in that, yes. You've done so much for them in terms of drug abuse and yes. alcohol abuse as well. Yes. And I'm sure we're going to talk about that sure. over a meal. Sure. Um, so Heshimiwa, mm. now that I've experienced mm. the VVIP space, where are you going to take me next? We can go to see the dining. Do you want to go and see the kitchen? Yes, let's do that. Wow, this is amazing furniture, my yeah. goodness. It, is it? Yes, it Thank is. You. What, did you, what, what do you like about the furniture? The beauty, you can see the decoration. I yes. told you I, like, I love art and I love flowers. Okay. They give me a lot of comfort when, yeah, when I'm looking at them. That's why even the seats are like that. Okay, so this is where you have your guests come to. Do you normally have parties? A lot. Here, outside party parties with my, my boys like inviting their people uh -huh. and I also invite my friends for uh -huh. parties. Yes. All right. I love the sound of that. <laughs> are you those children who had it all when you're growing up? You won't believe it. Have you ever heard of Kieni? Yes, I've heard of Kieni. That is where I grew up. Okay. In a very humble background. Okay. When I began to go to school, oh. we went to school where we had no shoes. Wow. And Rita Run, then we could afford shoes. Okay. I've actually come from a humble background, brought up by a single mother. Okay. But where I am, here I am because God's grace. Amen so, to yes. that. Let's and toast God to has that. seen us through. Yeah, sure. That is such a beautiful story. Yes. So people can work hard and achieve something beautiful. Oh, yes. Well, life. yeah, you only need to be focused yeah. and you don't need to look at your surrounding or your environment. Yeah. Focus and you can make it yes. from nothing to something. To something. Yes. Come and see my kitchen before I give you I give you the story of giving back because that's my passion.
Ooh, this is lovely. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. A green reflection. Uh -huh. Yeah, honoring agriculture. Yes, 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 I know. This green is very calming for a kitchen. Thank you. This kitchen is quite unique and different. Did you envision your kitchen to look like this? Yes, I did. Yeah? Yes, I really paid a lot of time uh -huh. after the house was completed so that it looks like what I feel is good. Where did you get um, the inspiration to create this beautiful kitchen? Mm. Yeah. Uh, within myself, I'm, I'm, I'm an artist. Okay. And I, I like beauty. Yes. Yeah, it's only that my ears have gone. Now I'm not the young girl who really used to do no, a lot of It can never die. Don't but kill your dream. It's within me. It's and within I, you. Yeah, I love it when it is beautiful. Okay. Yes. This grandiose house of yours. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted to see my family? Yes. So this is where you guys sit with the family? You sit with the family. My boys sometimes will bring here by force okay. to watch movies. <laughs> so what movies do you guys watch? They put on me on African movies. Uh -huh. Sometimes they'll pick horrific ones. Okay. And I'm forced to watch and my phones are taken away. <laughs> Your bonding moments. Yeah, our bonding moments. And I love it. This is where I left. After the hustle and bustle, yeah, once I take a shower, I come and less. Sometimes I can even sleep here and wake up late at night. Mm -hmm. And mostly because this is where we sit with my boys. Most of the time is where we converge and have our discussions. And the small one will tell me about school and we'll take on homeworks. So it's it's, it's the family feeling. This where the family feeling out of having mixed out there with other people. Are you naturally clever? I mean, you have all these accolades and <laughs> so, I mean, you're a scholar. Mm. I mean, you have PhD in humanity and masters in psychology and mm. counseling. Mm. Um, why was that so important to you to, to do PhD in humanity mm. and study psychology? Why, why was that important to you? Studying humanity is a calling. Mm. Because I remember when I was growing up, I really used to be touched by poor people. Whatever I could see, uh, like uh, people are straining, like people live like they don't have food, really used to touch me. And actually, I really used to cry. And I would keep bothering my mother, why can't we help? Despite that, my mother was also straining. After I finished, uh, my degree in Egerton University. I chose, I, I got married and then I went back to school to study uh, psychology, which I really loved. And when I did psychology, the same time I was doing psychology, I studied uh, drug addiction, a, di a diploma course in SAPTA. And immediately I finished, I started doing counseling on drug addicts. That's where I felt there are a lot of caring. I learned something we call abnormal psychology, where people will behave abnormally, but yet we see them normal. But they're not cool, but they're not normal. They have issues in their mentors. They have disability of their mentors, and they will struggle with the drugs. They will struggle with behavior that very few people understand. I, I felt attracted to that, and I started doing that work, which I've been doing a lot of campaigns on drug addiction. I have, I learned rehabilitation centers where I've helped very many young people to re, to recover. And up to today, I do that. I like human work, humanity and community work. And then say compassion is my passion, touching the life of others that are out, out there. Now your childhood is very interesting. My mom was single, oh. but she was a politician. She was a politician? Yes. My goodness. So you got the streak to be a politician from I must have tapped from her. You must have tapped from yes. her? Yes. And she, yeah, and she was a community leader. Now, here you are. Mm. Um, at what point did you become who you are? What is your story? You went to school. Um, you've risen to be the deputy governor. How, how was that experience like? 
Uh, as I told you, when I went to college, I became a peer counselor. So I started serving as a reader to others. And after college, now I came to, I got married and went back to do my master's in psychology. Where now I started mentoring young people. Actually, I got, I got married now in Kiambu, but to do south. So after, um, now I went to do my master's and started helping the youth. Mm -hmm. The youth I started helping was while in Gatundo South. Mm -hmm. um, creating an awareness on drug addiction, mm -hmm. how to prevent it for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Before now my husband became a reader there. Mm -hmm. That is what I was doing with the community. Mm -hmm. And I've helped a lot of youth, mm -hmm. different from my area. Mm -hmm. I also started connecting those youth to jobs abroad, especially those who had challenges with ACO. Oh, nice. And um, right now, mm -hmm. when my husband passed on mm -hmm. and I vied mm -hmm. for the seat, mm -hmm. I did make it and mm -hmm. the president gave me some work. Mm -hmm. um, I, was heading the, I was heading a department of children affairs. Mm -hmm. And within that time, I also got the chance to serve children. Mm -hmm in a number of capacities. Okay. When the Kiabu governor had issues that is on a boy Tito, mm -hmm. and he left and Nyoro became the governor, I was privileged to, give the, to be given the position of the deputy governor. Tell me, what is your relationship with the president? It's a good relationship. He's my friend and the family are friends to me. Okay. I'm good friends after my husband passed on. All right. I can actually attest why it's a family that stood with me now okay. that I I'm in their area, I told where I came from. I can talk of them as being very good neighbors. Okay. Being very helpful neighbors because they've held my hand and they've never neglected my family. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Shimiwa, who mentored you? Most of my mentorship came from my mother. Okay. Despite it was not at the same kind of level mm -hmm. level of life as it is, you know, now me I'm growing up in a in a more developed whatever. Well, I'm growing up in town, my mother yes. grew up in the villages. Yes. Now we, we have um, we have computers, we have all those. It was a different level, mm -hmm. but I've learned mm -hmm. a lot from her. Mm -hmm. And she's, she's my greatest and greatest mentor that I can talk about. Eh? Mm -hmm. So when I joined uh, the world of politics, you know, Honambo Mele Wamboi, Mm -hmm. She was an MP of Odaya. Okay. She's also uh, a lady who has grown up with me like a mother. Okay. And she has mentored me in many areas. Okay. So um, now that you're vying for this seat, mm. what are you going to do for the people who got into South? First of all, the thing I want to do a lot is on education. There has been challenges on education. Mm -hmm. There some parents are not able to meet up their fees to educate their children. Mm -hmm. And I really want to work on this to make sure mm -hmm. that each and every child is getting educated. Mm -hmm. We've also been having issues on health. Mm -hmm. All of the times doing Harambe's, mm -hmm. I really want to create awareness and create avenues where mm -hmm. people can be covered mm -hmm. through insurance. Mm -hmm. We have a number of families that we need to empower, mm -hmm. to lift up their lives. Mm -hmm. And I'll look into that from their housing, from where, what can they do. As, uh, to earn some coins. Mm -hmm. We also have youths who are challenged mm -hmm. with uh, drugs mm -hmm. and subsistent mm -hmm. abuse. Mm -hmm. I think I really want to work on and see how we can help our own youth who are there. Mm -hmm. some, some could be there because of joblessness. Mm -hmm. Others, other factors. And for those who are not having jobs, we're going to Look for jobs. means and create ways mm -hmm. that uh, can actually change their way of life. We wish you all the best, mm -hmm. Shimiwa. Thank you so much. I think we've learned so much from you. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that I've learned from you is, as a young person, <coughs> and maybe you can just look into the camera and tell our, our young people mm -hmm. out there three, maybe three things mm -hmm. as we wind up. Mm -hmm. What are the most important values mm -hmm if you want to become a leader? Uh, as, as young people, I would tell them mm -hmm. to always focus to their goals. Mm -hmm. let, um, let your family, let your background not hinder you from what you want to become. Mm -hmm. You can still become. Mm -hmm. Avoid the negative peer pressure mm -hmm. that you're gonna be like this or that. Avoid it mm -hmm. and be you who you are. 
Number three, let's just learn to be respectful to our readers, to our community, to our parents. Because charity begins at home and there is a commandment of respecting our parents. Yes. Let's respect and hear what the community tells us. And also young people, money can come from any place so long as you're not stealing or killing someone for it. So you can do farming, you can do those uh, online works. You can do anything that comes along. You may have studied this and it's not forthcoming. Okay. Please don't get depressed because of that. Adopt anything that brings a coin on your table mm -hmm. as you wait. Okay. Yes. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the show today. You've learned that you need to be focused, avoid negative energy, among other things mm -hmm. that she spoke about today. Uh, stay tuned and watch Art of Living next Sunday at 6.30 p.m. And remember to follow me at Miss Nyland Tay on Instagram and at Nyland Tay Kenga on Twitter. Don't forget to follow us on KTN Home underscore across all platforms.